Hey yo, welcome to the uh, Jonathan uh, import terrain video. Import terrain video timer started nine, uh, nine minutes maximum. This is thanks to Jonathan Kasky. Jonathan Kasky, K S K K A S K I. Uh, I call him Jonathan. Uh, Hamlin BC is his mo uh, his uh, moniker on uh, cheap. He helped me with this, and I really appreciate it. I got a house right here, and I'm going to import a terrain. My uh, I have a client who. Uh, uh, gave me a terrain and it's actually uh here it is right here it's a it's a, a topo it's called it's a dxf file that's all it is and apparently when you get a dxf file that come from an engineer with the uh, uh terrain stuff uh sometimes this terrain might have real values the mo the uh, uh contours and the uh spot elevations so i'm going to show you how to import this terrain right here on this it's just a house right there i'm going to show you how to import this terrain or how uh, jonathan told me taught me to import this terrain file uh, import i'm going to import uh, uh, a drawing i'm going to import a drawing continue and i'm going to first of all i have to go find the file okay find the file and it's going to be uh bloop. done done there it is. That's the file I'm going to import. Okay, I had to go find it. I know where it is. Continue. Ah. Now here's a question: What layers do I import? Now uh, I'm going to go back and show you this in a minute. But I know what layer I want to import. I know what layer my contour lines is on. I know what layer it's on. And this is okay. Some of this stuff is selected. I just want to. I want to just import one layer, and it's my contour layer. So I'm going to clear all. So nothing select on the left hand side. That's what was just happened. Clear all. Nothing. Nothing select on the left hand side. And I know that. Uh, I don't know anything actually. But, uh, SL interior contours. That is the layer I I want to import. I know that. So I come down here to and I want to turn that stuff into elevation data. Now what didn't happen? What didn't happen is up here is not converted to. This is the mistake I was making, and this is the help that Jonathan gave me. I have to first select this, not this, not, not that, but I have to select this, and now convert to elevation data. And I see right here under, under, underneath the convert data, convert to, it says elevation data. Now I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting it. If I don't select it, if I don't highlight, watch this. I'm going to do it one more time. Just This is sort of important. If I select this and I simply uh, convert to elevation data, I guess it happened. What happened? <laughs> Whatever. Make sure the darn thing's green, okay? And, and then you just select it and turn it to elevation data. Once that happens, it will. Anyway. That's what happened. You got to make sure this is green or highlighted or whatever, and then turn it to elevation data. And I go back anyway. Uh, continue. Now, what I'm what's going to happen is I'm just going to import that the the contour lines. And now, what Jonathan taught me was when I import the contour lines, it will automatically automatically create the train uh, perimeter. Continue. I uh, continue. You you figure that? Oh 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 oh. oh. I don't want to import this to a single layer. I want to import it. This is the, this is another key. I don't want to import this terrain to a, a single layer. Anything I import, I don't want to in, in, uh, 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 import it to a single layer. I want to import it to a chief architect layers by not by by uh, layers by name. That's what I'm selecting. I thought I was able to uh, create the layer myself. I, I created a, a layer called Jonathan One, and that's where it went to. But this, let's just see what happened. And I know it's got to be feet. I'm just telling you, it's feet. That's the guy that drew, drew this thing did it in feet, so it is in feet. Import. Uh, this is all a bunch of garbage. Uh, you figure it out yourself. And I think I think once I press done, you're going to see the contour lines that I imported, and it will automatically create a terrain. There it is. There's the train right there. You, you, whatever it is. You, you, you figure this. Okay, now I'm going to tell you there's a whole lot of data, datum here, data stuff here. And I'm going to just re. Uh, Jonathan and I came up with some, some spikes in the terrain. So I'm going to downsize it just a little bit 
to see if I can avoid some of those uh, uh, spikes in the terrain. Here it goes. We're going to see the terrain. HH. Oh, now there's so much information here. Do I want to interpolate it? Yes. I want Chief to figure out how to simplify this thing for me. What's my time? There it is. Uh, what's my timer? Oh, three and a half minutes. God dang it. I take so long to do this crap. It's unbelievable. There it is. And now you can see how I, I imported all that terrain. Oh, oh before I – okay, anyway. And then there, there's a spike right here, uh, F6. And I think if you go over here to this thing right here, I think the smart thing to do or one, one way to deal with this is just like all that elevation stuff and delete it. And now it's – I don't know if it's right or not, but it, it is what it is. And so you just have to be really good at terrains. Okay, one other thing um, Jonathan told, taught me. I forgot what it was. Stop. Stop. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I know I know what uh, what he taught me. Uh, control new. I'm going to open up a new plan. I'm going to import it one more time. But this time, file import, file import. I'm going to do this really quick. File import the drawing. Long. And I'm not going to give it uh, continue. Continue. Uh, browse. I'm going to go get the file where it is. Uh, yeah, right there, there's a the file. And uh, continue. I'm going to... I guess I'm going to select everything. I think I'm going to select everything. I think I, I knew what I was doing. Uh, continue. I'm, I'm selecting all the layers. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I don't want to. I don't want it to go to a single layer. I want it to. I want Chief to use the layer names that this guy drew it in. Okay. So they're all going to be separated. Continue. That's what. The, that's important right there. Or I think it is. Uh, I'm going to select, I think, everything. i got to finish this up really quick. Feet, continue, and I'm going to show you the uh, the problem. What, what? There it is. Now, this guy who, and so this is the topo I actually got from the guy. That's, that, that's actually the topo. That's all that stuff. Now, this is one of the things that Jonathan told, talked to me about, and he said, look at this. This is a contour line. Okay, I imported that, and that, that, that was initially on line style. Uh, SL interior center. Remember that's I imported that layer, but watch this. Watch the spot elevations. Look at this right here. This is a spot elevation. To, what, what what is that? That's a text. I don't even know what it is. It's a text box it's somewhere. But this is what this is, and and that should have an elevation associated to it. And there it is, right there. There's the uh, elevation spot that's associated with it. But here's the problem. Why why can't I import that? And I think I will tell you that I can't import that. You, I think I would tell you that. I gotta find it on on a line style something or other. Boop. Uh, SL spot elevations. I'm gonna tell you real quick, and I'm gonna end this thing. <clears throat> Your guy, I th this is what Jonathan Jonathan said. He said you can't have it blocked. Once that thing is blocked, and I guess in AutoCAD, this that text was blocked. That those two lines were blocked. Once it's blocked. You lose the value of the elevation. So if I'm not mistaken, what Jonathan was saying was, you could go back to your engineer and say, hey, send me that again, but this time unblock this stuff. That way it will retain the elevation data. And so you can import it and you get that. You not only get the top contour lines, but you got the spot elevations. And that is it. And by the way, you remember I opened this up as a new file, HH, boop, there's nothing there. Because I did not, because I did not go through that one process of elevations, I got, I got, I'm done. But I'll, I'll do it one more time. But I hope you got the gist of it. That's the end.